What's up everyone, this is Mark Pappas, the Senior Vice President of Innovation here at CMI. And we're back at CES 2022, finally back at CES in person. Um, actually, we're not. This is a green screen. Um, we're in my office. What's up everyone? Yes, we didn't go back to CES in person this year, even though it was held in person. Uh, COVID continued to rear its ugly head, so many of the major companies started pulling out for safety reasons. We were one of them. Uh, even though we weren't there, we still got a great sense of a lot of the announcements that took place, a lot of the product launches, and really were able to pick up on a lot of the key trends that are out there. As we saw last year with CES, personal health and pandemic tech <laughs> was a big thing. Uh, so we could we continue to see a lot of rollouts of products this year to make our new work from home lives much more comfortable. Uh, of course, CES being CES, there's tons of robotics. And while there was no smart toilet this year, there was a lot of products that were in that same vein, which we'll touch on. But in this video, we're gonna recap some of our favorite announcements, some of the trends and products that we've been seeing and some of the new offerings from some of our uh, partners that are new for 2022, especially from some partners that don't really seem like it would be, you know, something uh, that would work for pharma, but there's a lot of opportunity out there and we think uh, you'll find a lot of these things interesting. So check out this video and we'll run through everything that we took away from CES 2022. Thanks. While CES is typically considered a tech conference first, health has been playing an increasing role. This year saw over 100 health specific companies displaying their products. Of that category, wearables have always populated the show floor and countless smart health accessories are usually everywhere. This year, for the first time in CES history, a pharma and health-focused company was the keynote speaker of CES. Abbott's CEO, Robert Ford, gave the CES keynote touting the company's new line of bio-wearables called Lingo. These wearables are being designed to track key signals in the body, such as glucose, ketones, and lactate to help people better understand their general health and to take action. Ford mentioned these wearables will be able to track alcohol levels in the future. He was quoted as saying, this will be like having a window into your body. It's science that you will be able to access anytime so you can understand what your body is telling you and what it needs. Our vision is that Lingo will go far beyond today's wearables for consumers to help you proactively manage your health, nutrition, and athletic performance. Now, in addition to the wearables announced by Abbott, there was all matter of smart devices that kind of fall into that wearables category, though not typically something like a, a wrist-based watch or something like that. There was a headset to boost vision. This device was created by Iris Vision in partnership with Samsung Electronics to pilot the headset. The headset will help restore vision in patients who have conditions similar to macular degeneration to restore functioning areas in the retina. In the future, PCPs can prescribe the headset to patients with newly developing eye conditions to improve their eyes before they worsen. Next, we had improved hearing aids being developed by Whisper and Starkey. Hearing aids have already drastically improved in the quality of life for some users with updated technology. These new hearing aids can alert a user's doctor when there's a drastic change in heart rate, blood pressure, body temperature, and even predict falls in elder users. We wrote about this in a CMI POV uh, maybe a year or two ago about the new wave of these in-ear wearables and the amount of vitals that they have access to. Next, one of the bigger announcements coming out of CES comes from LG. Now, with telehealth being the new normal for many of us as a result of the pandemic, LG announced a partnership with Independent to start including their telehealth and wellness platform called Health Hub and all the smart TVs moving forward from LG. Consumers will be able to have telehealth sessions with doctors, dentists, and other healthcare professionals through their LG TV set at a set price per session. While most most telehealth sessions have taken place on a smartphone or tablet. Using a large screen TV will make it easier for people with eyesight issues and easier for patients to step back and allow doctors to see more of a patient's body. Independence founder says you can't hold your phone out far enough to show the right thing. Versus on the TV, you can walk around, you can bend your arm. There's actual engagement that becomes much more effective with the doctor during a telehealth session. Users who sign up for the Health Hub will also get free access to a pharmacy benefit plan called Capital RX which offers discounts on prescriptions as well as access to a library of wellness and video content aimed at seniors. Next up was from a company called Omron and their Vital Sight product. 
So Omron announced this remote patient monitoring system as an at-home health hub that allows physicians to measure patients' weight and blood pressure remotely. The vital site contains a health hub that has a data hub, a blood pressure cuff, and a scale. And when the patient uses the hub, the data is sent directly to the physician's EMR of choice. If everything is normal, the data is stored within the EMR and there's no alert. But if there's a medical issue or something seems a little off, the physician is instantly notified from the vital site software. They are able to reach out to the patient immediately um, instead of having to wait for the patient to come in for an additional checkup. Vital site is HIPAA compliant and EPIC compatible and works with most major EHR platforms. And then what would CES in 2022 be without all things metaverse? Every day we seem to be getting closer to living in Ready Player One, and this year's CES just goes to show like how much further down the rabbit hole of the metaverse things are going. Now, from Justin Freed, our chief innovation officer, his takeaway from the metaverse at CES was that the metaverse has the potential to change the way we engage with each other in ways we have not seen since the launch of the original iPhone. Throughout CES, the metaverse has been center stage with companies launching and announcing various forms of software, hardware, and capabilities that will help the metaverse be built and thrive. Our WPP sister agency, Wonderman Thompson, is at the forefront of what is possible in the metaverse in partnership with Odyssey, bringing a platform to life that allowed users to engage with each other and the likes of swimming fish and dolphins. CES is showcasing just the beginning of what is possible in the metaverse. Keep an eye on this space for more thought leadership and direction on how healthcare with will transform in the metaverse. Next up was another rather large announcement, uh, and it was Matter. It was one of the buzziest things coming out of CES this year, and Matter is the result of an alliance of several of the large tech companies to create an open source smart home standard, meaning that all your smart home devices, regardless of the company that made them, would work well together. Personally, I have about five different apps on my phone for different smart devices in my house, and it's kind of maddening, but Matter would eliminate this. Everything would talk together and be able to work on a singular platform. If you saw a smart home announcement last week at CES, it's likely included the words, and we announced our support for Matter. About 30 companies said at CES they're supporting Matter, including Apple, Google, Amazon, and Samsung. It's intended to launch this summer. And then speaking of CES being CES, what would CES be without all forms of robots? While many are often gimmicky or downright terrifying, I'm looking at you, Pedioroid, Labrador Systems had a unique robot-like assistant named the Labrador Retriever. The Labrador Retriever serves as an extra pair of hands, helping individuals move large loads and bring items within reach. It's designed to lighten the load for millions of people who have health issues that impact their daily activities at home. The applications are for disabled people, elderly, or anyone with multiple kids that just need a hand, which I think is all of us. Labrador Retriever pretty much resembles a motorized shelf that follows you around. It's definitely unique, um, and I recommend checking it out. Finally, probably the most out-of-this-world concept. See what I did there? Due to the skyrocketing use of Alexa, pun intended, and I'll stop, I promise, but Alexa (laughs) will be making its way to space on an actual rocket. Amazon has partnered with Lockheed to have Alexa in space. The Amazon and Lockheed Martin have announced plans to send the device as part of the Artemis One space program, the first of several NASA missions intended to land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. And finally, probably the coolest and at least my favorite product unveiled at CES this year is the BMW iX Flow, the color-changing car from BMW where you can change the complete color of the car, including the wheels, at the push of a button. The BMW's completely covered in e-ink, which is pretty much the same technology that you use in an um, Amazon Kindle device. But, you know, this is early stages, so who knows what's going to happen with this technology. Everything from picking any color you want to designs to, who knows, advertisements rolling down the road. But the possibilities are literally endless, and seeing this in the flesh and an actual product as opposed to, you know, just a 3D rendering was pretty pretty mind-blowing. Well, thanks for watching our CES 2022 wrap-up video. Uh, Obviously, there were hundreds, if not thousands, of product announcements at CES, so it's impossible for us to cover them all, but we thought, you know, we'd share some of our favorites and we hope you enjoy those. If you have any questions about any of these trends or products that we've been seeing, please do not hesitate to reach out to your media leads on the CMI team and we can set up some time to take you through everything else and take a deeper dive into any one of these categories that you'd like. Again, I'm Mark Pappas, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully we'll be 
on the ground in Vegas in 2023. See ya.